Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Um, I'm really guided to tell you, Gemini, that now is a really good time to get in tune with your spiritual self, your intuitive nature, um, connecting to your guides, um, giving thanks to them, all of that. Um, something that would really benefit you at this time, Gemini, is getting yourself a white candle. I have mine that is lit right here. Um, but yeah, getting yourself a nice candle that you feel drawn to. Doesn't necessarily need to be white, but I was guided to use white. Um, and honor your guides as you are lighting this candle. I'm personally letting my candles burn for the entirety of the day. And I'm guided to tell you to, you know, trust your instincts when it comes to the way that you wish to give thanks to your guides, all right? The full moon and Halloween in general is all about acknowledging the unseen forces that have been guiding you and protecting you and doing everything they need to be doing throughout your own journey, all right? So it's really important for you to be grateful for where where you are at this moment in your life in your journey you've come a really long way and the work isn't done the work is not done but um a lot of energy that was picking up for gemini is that this is a really significant time for transformation specifically all the mutable signs um pisces virgo sagittarius and gemini it is a complete transformation in and out so i just really am guided to encourage you to meditate encourage you to journal encourage you to focus on your dreams and also invite your guides into your dreams as well so that they can continue to help support you and also most importantly don't forget to show your love and appreciation for for them as well okay even if you don't know your ancestors or you don't know all of them um it's still important to give thanks because they are they are around us at all times all right so um we're gonna keep things chill today i don't have that much energy anyway so let's get into your reading um this is going to be a general message for gemini so if your sun moon rising or venus is in gemini then these messages can resonate and keep in mind that not everything is going to resonate of course so sometimes you know worlds can be reversed or you know if a message is um confusing you in any way that means that it's not for you okay so take what resonates and ignore the rest um this is going to be like a quick little check-in video. Um, you can expect me to be posting your November uh, monthly reading uh, sometime this week, okay? I'm also going to be dropping my Patreon tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Those of you who follow me on Twitter at The Prada, I will be posting, um, posting my Patreon there. Those of you who don't want to wait for, um, for me to post, um, I'll actually be posting all of my YouTube content in advance ad free on my Patreon and I'm also going to be um, like pulling cards for you guys every week so you'll be getting exclusive content as well and I'll also be doing a live streams, sharing audios with you guys um, about anything, my thoughts, um, astrology, tarot, things of the sort. So if you are interested, do keep an eye out. Like I said, I'm going to be launching this tomorrow. Okay, so I'm really excited to be connecting with you all. Okay, let's look at the overall energy surrounding Gemini. I'm sending you so much love, so much positive healing energy your way. Let's get into it. All right, so here you are, Gemini. We got the Queen of Swords right off the bat. Let me have a look at these other cards that fell here. Okay, so we got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Emperor. A lot of you are, a lot of you are moving on by yourself. Okay, a lot of you are moving on by yourself. I'm really seeing you taking initiative and deciding that you want to walk down your own path. Um, and this, you know, this may require you to be alone for some time or to at least initiate something 
by yourself. So without um, looking for the consent of others. It's very interesting here how we got both um, the Libra and the Emperor here. All right, so we got the um, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there could have been a situation. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. But I was saying um, there could have been a situation that was likely love related, or at least your feelings were involved in some way. Okay, and I'm feeling as though the situation was an uneven exchange of energies okay so either your feelings uh at least you were feeling as though your energy and the work you were putting in was not being reciprocated maybe you feel as though you were disrespected in some way or maybe you know truly deep down that um you weren't being your true self you weren't being truly authentic to yourself and you were not giving to this connection or you were not giving to this this thing, it could even be job related, all right? Um, but you were not giving enough to this thing in order for it to be substantial, okay? So I'm seeing you coming to terms with something. Um, and like I said, it likely pertains to a matter of the heart with the three of swords. For some, this may simply be a breakup, specifically with a Aries placement or a Libra placement. But I'm seeing a lot of you are gaining um, a lot of wisdom from what you have experienced in the past, specifically pertaining to a breakup, I'm feeling as though you're able to step outside, um, set your emotions to the side and see things for what they really are. You're, you're, you're understanding where you are right now. You're understanding your place in this world and you're understanding your place um, when it comes to your spiritual journey. So where are you at? I'm feeling that a lot of you guys had to close a chapter and this was likely something that you were guided to do on your own time, okay? I'm feeling as though um, it's not really like you. I mean, you are the sign of the twins, right? It's not really like you to be completely by yourself, but I'm really feeling as though there's some form of isolation here. Kind of as though like one twin has left one twin has disappeared and you are here standing on your own and you are really starting to tap into your own person at this time so this is not a time for you to be um i mean okay so I, i'm feeling it so okay let me just pull more cards before i say more Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may be getting closer to your roots, specifically your family roots. So this could be you're getting more in touch with your culture, or maybe you are getting in touch with your grandparents as well, specifically on your mother's side of the family. Let me see more. It could also be cousins. I'm, I'm just getting emphasis on like extended family. All right, let me see more. I'm feeling as though you're feeling welcomed or embraced by some form of community that feels like family to you. And there is a similarity when it comes to this community so it's as though you fit right in Gemini let me see more so it's kind of as though you're starting a new path in your spiritual journey and you fit right in it's not something that you need to force it's not it's, it's very authentic to you and if anything it's it's something that comes naturally I hope that that makes sense but I'm just saying like you don't need to force things anymore I'm feeling a lot of like easygoing energy and I'm also tapping into a lot of wisdom coming from you at this time and it really pertains to you um, reflecting on past events all right let me see more yeah we got the hangman you were really reflecting for a long time Gemini um, I feel as though a lot of you were, uh, were experiencing stagnation. Things were just not moving as fast as you may have wanted them to. And I feel so you were spending a lot of time by yourself just reflecting on things. And then look, we have the Hermit card in reverse. So I'm definitely picking up on um, Virgo energy. Some of you guys may have that in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Virgo and the Virgo is distancing themselves. But I'm seeing now that you're ready to get back into the world. And with the Ace of Wands, I'm seeing that you are eager and you have the physical energy to take to take on this new phase of life, okay? I'm definitely seeing here that you were forced to let go of negative thinking that you were holding on to, okay? There was a lot of things or one thing in particular that you were holding on to, Gemini, and I feel as though you were um, brought to the point of no longer being able to continue overthinking this or no longer being able to continue on, okay? It's kind of as though it's making me feel like you had a lot of bags with you and you were getting ready to go on a plane and as you're boarding, they're telling you like, no, like your bag is too heavy. And then you're like, well, I really need to get on this plane. This is the last flight, blah, 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 you know? And they're just like, no, like you can't, you literally cannot bring this much stuff onto the plane. So you're kind of forced to, and look, we got the journey card. Oh, 
sorry, we got the journey card at the bottom of the deck. So it's like you're really forced to let go of baggage here in order to make it to your journey to the next, you know, the next phase of life. All right. So I'm really picking up on the spiritual energy and the spiritual transformation happening. Okay. This could be um, also definitely something that started to process, um, you know, uh, around this time or even after um i mean mercury is almost direct so in a couple of days but i'm really feeling as though the first few weeks of november are going to be very eye-opening those of you who have not received these downloads yet and received this confirmation yet i definitely do see it coming your way all right okay cool so let's look into your love life real quick um let's look into your love life okay <laughs> I do, I do kind of want to keep things lighthearted. So, and I'm sorry if you were watching my other videos and you were expecting like more energy or like a, or like a different type of energy. But yeah, let's look into love, okay? Um, I was also going to tell you before I started that um, everything is under control. And that is a direct quote that I got from my grandfather who is a Gemini son. And he's always saying how everything is under control. So Gemini, if you felt as though you were losing control for some time, I'm telling you that the control is coming back to you. The power, the motivation, it's all coming back to you. If you've been losing sleep, you're going to be able to feel well, well rested and confident in your abilities and in everything. All right. So let me see the energy surrounding Gemini's love life. Energy surrounding Gemini's love life. Energy surrounding Gemini's love life. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, I don't know why Canada is coming to mind. <laughs> Canada is coming to mind as I'm pulling these cards. That's so funny. So are you thinking about coming to Canada? I don't know. That's so funny. Okay. So we got the three of cups in reverse. Six of wands okay why am i feeling as though you might might have had like a fallen out with people either this could have been friends or people that you were like potentially dating or getting to know specifically if you're getting to know multiple people at once why am i feeling as though they all like either rejected you at once or you distanced yourself from them at once or they all kind of churned on you at once but there's mention here of like possible gossip or backstabbing all right and then i'm feeling as though you don't even care you brush it off and you bounce back really quick and it seems as though you're still um like active on social media you're still tweeting the, this this to me is giving me like twitter instagram vibes so it's like you're still posting you're still being active and you're still like feeling yourself okay so it's kind of like you brush something off let me see more yeah there was some deception going on here i'm definitely picking up on like someone being fishy someone just like not being honest and i feel so the minute that you figure this out you dip you move on okay maybe this is um not a specific uh incident that happened within your love life maybe this is just you know like intrusive thoughts that you are moving on from because i'm getting a lot of swords energy so this could also be um you know you're letting go of the thought of not being enough it's kind of like yeah you're telling yourself like i don't deserve this i don't deserve to be around these people that are low vibrational i am going to hype myself up and move on from this like i i got myself i got me i got me that's what i'm feeling i got me so i'm feeling as though you are distancing yourself from a group of people or a type of person and you are are aligning yourself with better i mean we got the ace of swords this lets me know that you are present and that you are ready to level up all right let me see more we got the world card in reverse yeah some of you guys were dealing i'm picking up specifically on a um on a leo all right but it could also be an aquarius scorpio taurus okay but i'm seeing that there's someone here that did not respect you or you will soon realize that they do not respect you this is someone that you this may not even be romantic but this is someone that you likely have known for a long time someone that you thought you had a mutual bond and connection and and, and understanding with okay sorry i'm still struggling my words but i'm really feeling as though suddenly you are being backstabbed or suddenly you are realizing you're realizing that someone is not meant for you. This is your confirmation. Someone is not meant for you. And I'm seeing you walking away from this successfully. Like I'm not seeing any type of lingering energy. Sure, with the world card in reverse, it may indicate some type of karmic lessons that you keep repeating. And it's kind of like a negative 
karmic cycle, but I'm feeling as though you are ready to release this, okay? Those of you who are single right now, I'm feeling as though you are really releasing like negative thought patterns, absolutely. And you're releasing the notion that you deserve less because you deserve a lot more than what's been given to you, specifically in the near past, like this person here, and this could also be another Gemini, but this person here was not meant for you. And this also, like I said, like it doesn't even need to be a romantic relationship. This could be a close friend, this could be a family member, um, but I'm really feeling as though like whoever this is, this is someone that you considered like your other twin. Like you probably call them your twin. Wow, you probably call them your twin. For some, this could have been a business partner, but there's someone here that just does not vibe with you. Absolutely. And you don't vibe with them and you're going to go your separate ways. Let me see more. Yeah, we got the full card in reverse. Yeah, you're distancing yourself after they do some effed up things. I'm trying not to swear, <laughs> but it's like all of a sudden they are being reckless with you. They're not being smart and uh, you're not you're not here for it. I'm really feeling as though you're aligning yourself with better Gemini and I'm feeling as though you are that alignment is causing distance between you and other people that are not in alignment with what you are reaching because I'm with the full card here like I'm feeling as though people tend to get carried away and you Gemini as someone that likes to keep things lighthearted and as someone that always wants to make sure that everyone is good and things of the sort you're easily influenced by your surroundings and you're easily influenced by the connections in which you keep close to you so this is something for you to keep in mind those of you who have not already cut people off take a moment to reevaluate your connections and what they bring to the table what do they bring into your life because i'm already telling you now gemini you bring a lot to them whether it's like emotional fulfillment happiness or a clout i'm seeing that you're like literally like you could be paying these people or um having these people on your platforms could be serving them a lot of clout like yeah <laughs> like i don't know what else to say but you gotta be you gotta be careful of who you share your energy with because not everyone is going to be worthy and not everyone is going to respect you when they get to the top not everyone's going to respect you when they get to the position that you are in right now that's some real shit that's some real shit not everyone's going to be reacting to success the way you do. Not everyone knows how to handle, you know, being some type of public figure. Not everyone knows how to handle being successful. Not everyone knows how to handle um, being a living, breathing example of what you should as aspire to become. So I'm really feeling as though you're on to something, Gemini. I feel as though you have a beautiful, like, you have a like your beautiful life ahead of you you have a lot of potential it's really time for you to get more serious in honing in that energy and channeling it into something that is going to truly manifest abundance okay and i'm really picking up on wealth as well um securing the bag but also for generations to come because i'm feeling as though this is a card of success but it's also the card of recognition people yeah people recognizing you for your skills your talents and all the, all that stuff so you are leveling up whether it is um in your job you may be having a promotion or you are you know moving up the ladder in some form but i'm feeling as though there's bigger and better things for you in the works and if this is love related i'm feeling as though you are aligning yourself with a better a better situation let me let me be okay i wasn't gonna do all this but i just feel guided to do it i just want to see like when love is gonna come your way all right just 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 to see okay and this is gonna be a message for those of you who are single of course uh single and getting to know or getting to know someone and this is also going to be a message for those of you who are in relationships that are wondering um is this person really for me so up until this point uh if these messages resonate and you're feeling as though the person you are currently with uh does not respect you and and maybe things are are one-sided maybe this is unrequited love if you feel that way and you are you know starting to feel guided towards leaving this union then let's see like when will you find love i just really want to know when will gemini find love right now okay and is this gonna be quick because i do have personal readings to get to and if you want a personal reading all you gotta do is check the description down below but let's get juicy for real for one sec for one sec because i okay so let's see when will gemini find love when will gemini find love let's see show me when gemini will find love because i want you to have like faith like dead ass okay when will gemini find love 
Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's going to take me a while to get these cards. It's going to take me just one second. Just hang in there with me. When will Gemini find love? When will Gemini find love? Oh, my cat's about to pull up. Oh, see, this, this is why I was guided to ask when Gemini's going to find love. Because you're crying about this right now. Okay, so we got the star card. <laughs> um, basically, what I'm seeing here, Gemini, um, a lot of you may find someone uh, during Scorpio season, because I do see a lot of Scorpio energy here. But overall, Gemini, what they're really saying with these cards is that, <laughs> what they're really saying with these cards is that, first of all, love will come unexpectedly. So when this card shows up, I know that I can't really... I can't really predict much because spirit is basically saying like it's gonna be a surprise dead ass like i'm not going to spoil the surprise but all i can tell you is that you won't be expecting it um but i'll i also i also am seeing that it's going to be important for you to let go of something and actually let go of it for good permanently we have so much scorpio energy here that is telling me that you know maybe something's gonna happen during scorpio season maybe you're meeting a scorpio but most importantly and this goes for all of you watching um it is going to be important for you to fully let go and surrender to the universe okay so basically there's something that must die first in order for you to be able to attract this new love because where you're at right now and what you've experienced thus far it does not compare for what is coming okay so let me say that again what you've experienced thus far does not represent it's nowhere near what you're about to experience gemini so what they're saying basically is like you have to make room for this this is something you're gonna have to prepare and make room for so those of you that are already in some type of situation and you're unsure about it it's time for you to fully end it so that you can you know progress to the next phase okay those of you who are single it's time for you to heal and release any type of fears or any type of uh just lingering negativity because this here is the card of emotional growth all right so i'm feeling as though someone needs to stop being childish and they just need to grow up and suck it up and move on for good so love is coming your way a thousand percent once you truly truly genuinely spiritually emotionally energetically move on from this if you gotta write a whole letter down and burn it do that okay um i'm feeling as though you could be attracting uh a water sign this like i said this could be a, a scorpio or you could be attracting an air sign and i'm picking up specifically on aquarius okay so um okay so yeah let me pick a moonology card and then we're gonna um end it here because yeah i'm gonna have to go okay you guys Look how nice my cat is every time i'm like feeling a lot he just comes and he just pulls through <sighs> okay all right he's sending you his healing energy i promise you he's sending healing energy all right gemini what does gemini need to know right now check my twitter for these messages too because i've been posting messages for the full moon all right so we got two cards. Oh, look, it's an Aquarius card. It says new moon and Aquarius bring love into the situation. So I'm really feeling as though you have to start loving yourself first and preparing yourself for a relationship. Act as though you are already in the union you are looking for. All right. Act as though you are already in the union you are looking for. Act as though you are already uh, being romance. Like date yourself is what I'm saying. Because they're saying bring love into the situation. And then you got the uh, Aquarius card. So yeah, you could be attracting an Aquarius. You never know. And then you got your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. So this is exactly what I mean. It's going to be hard work to release. Absolutely. Because nothing good uh, comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for just like comes your way. You know, things of the sort. So this is one thing for you to definitely keep in mind. But there is hope for you in the end. All right. Um, I'm going to let you guys go because I really need to get back to readings. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.